AMD is preparing to unleash a powerhouse in the professional graphics arena with its upcoming W9000 series GPU, a workstation class card that represents a significant leap forward in computational graphics. Built on the forthcoming RDNA 4 architecture, this monster GPU isn't designed for gaming like many of its consumer-grade cousins. Instead, it's tailored specifically for users who demand exceptional performance for highly intensive computing applications such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, 3D rendering, medical imaging, and high-resolution video editing. At the heart of the W9000 series lies AMD's revolutionary RDNA 4 architecture. This next-generation platform introduces an evolved computational engine, likely featuring what AMD calls an XDW variant. This could indicate a configuration optimized for dense compute workloads, possibly involving extra-wide data paths and advanced scheduling capabilities for tasks that demand parallel execution. The chip is expected to come loaded with improved compute units, better ray tracing hardware, and potentially even matrix cores aimed at accelerating AI and deep learning processes. One of the most critical features for professionals is video memory, and AMD seems to understand this well. The W9000 is rumored to ship with a substantial VRAM capacity, somewhere between 32 and 48 gigabytes, or possibly even higher. It's also expected to use ECC-enabled GDDR6 or HBM2E memory. These specifications make it well-suited for scenarios that involve massive data throughput and precision, including AI model training, scientific simulations, editing high bitrate 8K video, and rendering large scenes in 3D software such as Blender, Maya, or Houdini. AI and machine learning developers have reason to be optimistic about AMD's new workstation GPU as well. Though AMD doesn't include dedicated tensor cores like those found in NVIDIA's offerings, the W9000 series will leverage highly parallel matrix compute functionality. Combined with ROCM, Radeon Open Compute Platform support, the GPU is compatible with leading machine learning libraries such as PyTorch and TensorFlow. That means professionals working in data science and neural network training will find this card more than capable of handling large-scale AI workloads. Another notable upgrade is the integration of PCIe 5.0. This next-gen interface doubles the bandwidth of PCIe 4.0, offering significantly faster data movement between the CPU and GPU. For tasks like real-time rendering or AI inference, where minimizing latency is critical, this boost in transfer speed can provide a tangible improvement in workflow responsiveness and efficiency. Thermal performance is another area where the W9000 series is expected to shine. Unlike some of NVIDIA's workstation cards that are known for running hot under extended workloads, AMD is reportedly prioritizing thermal efficiency. This includes innovations like vapor chamber cooling, advanced axial fans, and intricate heat pipe systems. These thermal solutions should keep temperature stable even during 24-7 workloads, helping the card maintain peak performance without throttling, a key concern in professional environments. Although ray tracing is more commonly associated with gaming and cinematic VFX, it also has a place in professional work. The W9000 will incorporate next-generation ray accelerators, enabling accurate light simulation for architectural visualization, virtual cinematography, and high-end render previews. Tools like Unreal Engine, V-Ray, and Blender will benefit from this real-time ray-slash-path tracing capability, offering creators better insight into lighting and shading during production. Display connectivity is also taken to new heights. With support for high-resolution multi-display setups, the card will likely offer ports such as DisplayPort 2.1 or HDMI 2.1. These standards allow for output at 8K 60Hz or 4K at up to 240Hz, alongside support for HDR10 and Dolby Vision. This makes the GPU ideal for content studios and video editing professionals who rely on color-accurate, high-refresh monitors for precision work. Importantly, AMD is ensuring that the W9000 series receives wide-ranging professional software certification. Applications such as Autodesk Maya, 3ds Max, Revit, SolidWorks, Siemens NX, Adobe Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and ANSYS will be optimized to run with enhanced driver-level stability and rendering speed. These certifications guarantee a smooth experience across a wide array of industries, from engineering to film post-production. On the software compatibility front, AMD's focus on open standards gives the W9000 an edge in flexibility. Support for APIs and platforms like OpenCL, Vulkan, DirectX 12 Ultimate, and HIP, Heterogeneous Computing Interface for Portability, 
enables developers to port CUDA-dependent applications to AMD's architecture. With HIP SDK, even code written primarily for NVIDIA hardware can be adapted to run on AMD systems, creating a more competitive ecosystem. In terms of raw power, the W9000 series is projected to deliver between 40 to 60 teraflops of FP32 compute performance. More importantly for scientific computing, it will offer strong FP64, double precision floating point throughput. This is particularly relevant for users in academia, research, and industries requiring high-precision simulations, such as physics, finance, or climate modeling. Looking beyond present-day needs, AMD's workstation GPU is being built with tomorrow's challenges in mind. From generative AI applications and stable diffusion to omniverse development and virtual production pipelines, the W9000 is shaping up to be a future-ready card. It will be instrumental in enabling workflows that involve real-time collaboration in virtual environments, 3D world-building, and complex visual effects pipelines. In summary, while AMD's RX 960 XT is poised to dominate the mid-range consumer market with a strong blend of performance and affordability, the W9000 series sets its sights higher. It's designed to compete directly with NVIDIA's top-tier workstation solutions, challenging the status quo with more VRAM, better thermal design, broader software support, and strong architectural efficiency. With NVIDIA grappling with some challenges in thermal performance and memory limitations on certain models, AMD's strategy to push the W9000 as a professional-grade, high-reliability solution could see it reclaim significant ground in the professional GPU sector in 2025. This isn't just a new GPU, it's a signal that AMD is ready to take on the heaviest workloads in computing and win.